Good morning, good morning. It's 4.45 a.m. I just made it to the gym. I had a great weekend. It's Monday. I overslept a little bit. I took a little bit of uh, medication for my arm. You know, my wife, when she said it, she seen it swollen. It, it kind of concerned me a little bit more. It's been hurting for a couple months. Uh, but when she actually touched it and said swollen, I was a little concerned. <coughs> Excuse me. But I learned a lot. I went for my hike this Saturday. And I was listening to um, this gentleman. His name is R.L. or A.L. Williams. Some of you may do Primerica. He's the founder of that. Sells so term life insurance. And uh, he was a coach for seven years from some little small part of Alabama. And, and I love listening to him because he has this country voice that is just, uh, it sounds like something you need to take serious. He has over a net worth of $1.5 billion. His wife was a teacher. He was a football coach in high school. Net worth of $1.5 billion. With over 100,000 employees inside of his company. Built over the span of 40 years. Or 30 years. And while I was walking up this mountain, and I was hiking... And I was coming through the little valleys and there wasn't really anybody there. He started outlining what is important, what's mandatory in order to have a level of success in life. And it got me to thinking. It got me to seriously considering and, and evaluating my relationship with my family. And listen, when I say family, when you get to a certain age in life and you start having a wife or, uh, you know, you got your own separate place and then you have kids and that becomes a family inside the family. So you have your mother and your father. If, you know, if they're still around, you still have your cousins, you have your sisters, your brother, you, you have all those things. But your responsibility is to what's in the house. So when I say family, I'm typically talking about to those who didn't ask to be here that I was responsible for bringing here. And one that I have tied myself to or 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 have um, given myself to, which is my wife. I'm talking about that family. Because my mother and father, they they have lives of their own. They're doing what they have to do. I have my family that I have to be responsible for because they look towards me. So when I say family, I want to be very clear. I'm not talking about extended family and I'm not talking about family outside the home. I'm talking about inside the home family. And I started evaluating it. And I remember I sent the text message off to somebody that I, I trust their opinion. I trust, I value what it is that they think. I value what they could tell me and and I had to be honest and say, I, I, I'm struggling in the area. And I think it's an area on a scale of one to 10, that's about a 12. And I got to get through it. Or I'll be keeping uh, a trend going that is bad, that will affect others. It's bigger than just what I'm doing right now. It will carry on. I have to stop it. Not only do I have to stop because it's self-destructing, but I have to stop because it is slowing things down. There's nothing like making sure your family's okay. Business is good. Money is good. 
Exercise is good. Eating right is good. But there's nothing like making sure that your family is okay. That doesn't mean that they're not going to go left. That doesn't mean that they don't have their own path in life. But I'm talking about you specifically, me specifically, how I treat them. Not how they react to me. Not how they they veer off and do whatever they're going to do anyways but how i say hey listen i understand you're going to do what you got to do cuz i was there before i'm going to do what i got to do you know i'm i'm just soliciting or you're giving me your advice because it's something that i may need to hear that may help me down the road but ultimately your path in life has already been predetermined <clears throat> but the things that i can do to assist in that path in life are going to be equally as important if not more important than the path that you're already on I say all that to say that if if let's say if you're working out really hard, you're you're being consistent, you're being adamant about it, you're going every day, but yet you're still not seeing any results. Meaning you don't have people walking up to you on a regular basis. I have people walking up to me on a regular basis. Say, oh my God, man, you are you you look different. You look great, man. I might not see it because I'm with myself all the time, so it's not as evident. But if you're going to the gym and you're being fairly consistent with that and you're not seeing the results you might look at the fact that maybe your diet hasn't changed maybe you're still eating closer to nighttime maybe you're eating the wrong things maybe you're eating too much at one time maybe <clears throat> maybe you need to look at these different things to consider if there's something else that's missing inside of your 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 repertoire that may need to change in order to get you the results that you want if in business you're not seeing the type of income that you want, you know, you might want to look at some of the activities you're taking part of. You might even want to look at the fact of whether or not you're 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 within integrity. You're in integrity. Are you doing what you said you would do? And then sometimes if everything seems like it could be working a little bit better. It could be just that things inside your house need to be tightened up a little bit more. More communication. More love. More understanding. Because, see, I, I can see a full picture coming together, but I see a big chunk of it missing. And for me, it keeps coming back to one thing. What's going on in my house? Can my kids talk to me? Can my wife talk to me? Am I making myself available? I think I tell my wife everything. I think I do. I, I, I've, I've, I've yet to meet a more understanding person in my life. Not critical, not judgmental. Just, okay. So when you see that you have some real stars around you, you got to invest in it. I rewrote my goals out. I was inspired. I just started pounding them out Sunday. I was at church and I just started pounding out my goals. I just start writing them out. And I noticed something. Some of them had changed. Some of them had stayed the same. But the priorities have all moved. Stay blessed, take care, do a reevaluation, see what's important to you now. Because as we grow, our priorities grow. Our priorities change. Stay blessed. Take care. Have a wonderful start to your week.